Isn't there a song, I've been redeemed? And when you believe that process of being conformed to Christ began, and it must be fulfilled, that is God's holy purpose. God had a purpose in saving us. And that purpose is for Him. I maybe that's why I started preaching. What do you want to do in life? And my immediate answer was to glorify God. And I asked myself, how best can I do that? Some dumb thing. I said, I guess I'll preach. <laughs> so I can learn how to, glor how to be glorified to God. And every job I had, 50, I've had how many jobs if I it's so funny. Chad said, Dad, can you give me it was some thing he had to do. Dad, can you give me a list of jobs that you've had? And I gave him a list. As a matter of fact, I put it on my website. I mean it's like 35, 39 jobs that I've had outside of preaching that I work and I kept thinking, when am I going to get out of this? I want to preach. I want to teach. But yet, in every job I had, I realized that I was doing it for the glory of God. And when you believe in that process, that God has a purpose, notice verse 24, it says, in verse 24 it says, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is Seeing is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? We, we are saved for hope. We can't see the hope. We visualize the hope. We desire the hope. But it's not yet visualized yet and seen. And then in verse 17 it says, And if children then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified together. We were made sons to be made heirs of God, and our inheritance is to be like Christ, and to inherit all that is his. That's our hope. There is benefit at the end of life for the believer. We will receive an inheritance. And that inheritance is to become like Christ. If you want a hero to become like and to see is Christ. As much as I like Scotty Pippen, I don't want to be like Scotty Pippen. Heaven said that's it. As much as I like Pete Rose, I never want to become like Pete Rose. There's not a player that's alive that I have idolized, per se, in the sports field or any other field that I want to become like. I want to become like Christ. That's my hero. That's my model of life. So you come up with a doctrine that teaches... that you can lose your salvation, you have just invented an unbiblical salvation. And yet, most people, unbelievable, believe that you can lose your salvation. Because salvation is to make us conform to the image of God. To be conformed with to bring to the same is the term. What does it mean by that? To be conformed, to be like. Philippians chapter 3. Philippians chapter 3. And verse 21 is a good context to that. Philippians chapter 1. Chapter 3, excuse me, and verse 21 says this. who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. 
it tells us there is a bodily promise in this life, in this time, to have a body like Christ. We won't, we all won't, we won't all look alike. Same form of body, but not alike. We will have a glorious body. I believe that Christ is in us. I think that in this life that we should be conforming to the body of Christ. I think people ought to be able to recognize us as Christians that we have Christ living in us and that we could resemble Christ. Secondly, there is a spiritual dimension promise. We will be outwardly perfect and inwardly perfect. In heaven, not only will we be have a body that's perfect, but inwardly will be perfect. So, resisting, resting in us will be the holiness of Christ. The only way we will ever be any holier than we are is for Christ to reside in us. If there's any holiness in us, it will be Christ. The divine, incorruptible nature given to us at redemption, we receive at salvation, we receive an incorruptible nature that was given to us upon salvation, we will be free from the incompetence of the humanness which we now possess. Most of us are incompetent because of our sinful residue that's still left in us. It still creeps up occasionally less occasionally as we get older. Frankie said the other day, she says, you had changed a bit over the years. Yeah, she said. But we're talking about, I hope that I have changed inwardly. And I think probably she could recognize that better than anybody else. And Charity, you know, we, we become different in, in our age. I can't wait to see how good bills will be at 90. Lord, <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, 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 I hope I live that long. I hope you live that long too because I want to see you better than you are now. But anyway. Uh, and, and, you know, and, and I, I can't wait till I'm 80. Yeah, Bob Temple. Bob Temple. Oh, hush. What? How are you going to... Increase on perfection. Believe me, <laughs> I can give you some. Por I can give you some pointers. Oh boy! <laughs> I had a list of things I need to talk to you about anyway. <laughs> and we will be liberated. We will be delivered from the bondage of corruption. So our outward appearance, like Christ and an inward holiness like that of Christ is coming. That's our hope. But it doesn't mean we are not progressing to that point in our lives. I've heard wanting to be like your hero. But this, no. But that is what it says. It says into the image an image clearly desired it's clearly desired look with me if you will to Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 notice what it says who being the brightness of his glory who? Christ and the express image of of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins set down on the right hand of the majesty of God 
the express image of his person, not an accident in the image of Christ, we are going to be direct reproduction of his image. You say, well, how am I going to be, how am I going to be in heaven? How can I visualize myself in heaven? We are going to be a direct reproduction of Christ. I don't know if I can comprehend that. I know I can't, but that's exactly the way it's going to be. Then Bill can talk about perfection. I hope Christ is not like Bill. And I hope Christ is not like me. But we are going to be in perfection when we get looking at it. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter, and here's how it happens. Second Corinthians chapter three. Second Corinthians chapter three and verse. I know Bill just gives off like that occasion. Second Peter, he don't really believe that. Second Peter, well, I don't know. Second Peter chapter three and verse eighteen. Here it is. This is a wonderful verse. But we all, including Bill, with open face beholding as it, as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from what? Glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. We are being changed to the same image from one level of glory to the next level of glory to the next level of glory to the next level of glory even as by the Spirit of God. What a statement. We're moving one step at a time. One step of glory. One step of glory. This is one step of glory. When we get to heaven to be another step of glory we will become like Christ. You are saved. The process of taking you to one level of glory, to the next level, and the next, until little by little, and step by step, one step at a time, you're moving towards Christ's likeness, until the day you see Him, you will become like Him. That's our hope. I want to become like the person that I adore the most. When I die, I don't want to look like Farrah Fawcett. I don't want to look like Mickey Mantle. I want to look and to behave and be like my Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 